everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we're going straight in with the february favorites i'm actually filming it on the day which never ever happens so we're gonna dive right in so there's only a couple of things this month because there's a few things that i've been really loving that have been quite old um i started in january and continue through february of trying to get rid of like old products or oldish products that I just sort of needed to get rid of um, so that is what the majority of this is there's not really any new stuff so just a heads up there the first thing I'm going to talk about is with it being January and February and the colder weather usually today it's boiling hot I've actually just been sat outside in the pub um, but yeah with it being colder i have had a lot of baths and the first thing is epsom salt so i keep mine in like a cereal box just because i went a bit crazy and bought loads and i've got like a massive bag in my laundry room that i just sort of decanter into my cereal box and then this stays under my sink by my bath um i've actually used this within february um so i tend to just sprinkle a bit in the bath and then sit there for I think it takes about 20 to 25 minutes for it to soak into your body after like research that I've done so about that I usually just put something on Netflix or something and rest it on the toilet or a chair um obviously with the the seat down but um yeah so that's what I usually do and then I'll just sit there and soak in it and obviously do all the other stuff shaving and all that all that stuff but I love them and I think I actually think they really help um, really good if you're up in your gym game which I have been trying to do um, slightly throughout February and I'll be doing it even more throughout March um, as it sort of approaches the year till my wedding so yeah I really like them they do a good job um, I don't know maybe it's just in my head but I actually feel like they do something so yeah love these bad boys sticking to the bath theme I have fallen in love with this Sanctuary Spa Hot Sugar Scrub Exfoliator. Um, it is like the creamiest thing in the world, if I can get it open. Um, it's like the creamiest thing in the world. So you can see it literally looks like whipped cream and smells divine. So as you apply this to your skin, it actually like heats up, um, which is really nice. Uh, in the bath but yeah I have used it for like legs and the bottom of my feet and stuff like that and I really really love it I would definitely definitely repurchase this if I get down but I've used it a, a good few times and it's not even really shifting so I think it will take me a while to get through it but um yeah I really love it and then the other one there is another exfoliator I'm going to put the name down below that I use quite often but I have been using this and absolutely adoring it there's two things that I've been using this month in the bath. I used to use the Radox like bubble stuff, um, but then I had a couple of bath oils that I just thought, let's just get through them. And I loved this one to be fair. So it's the Overham bath oil. Um, it's all made with essential oils. And from the minute I had it, I loved it, but it's just been underneath my cupboard and I've never really uh, got it out. So this now sits on my bath and I use it pretty much every single time. And then for nights I need just a little bit extra, I've got the Oil Hut Quiet Night. So it's caramel, rose and lavender. Again, it's really lovely. It's 100 mils and you just use like a capsule in your bath or you can put it on your body or you can use it as a shower sort of product. So it is really versatile, but this one is my absolute favorite. Love it. Um, but yeah, this is also really good and smells amazing. So I tend to use this on like a Sunday night. Then I'll use this throughout the week and sometimes it will be a Sunday night, but um, this is almost gone. So while I'm getting through this, this is definitely a Sunday night ritual for me. Sticking to shower and bath products, there is a definite theme this week. I have been using this hair brush. So while my hair has been shorter, it's been so much easier. Um, which is another of my favourites, my lovely short hair. Yeah, this has literally been so easy with short hair because I just like circle it around and it works really well. When I had long hair, it just knotted my hair up so badly. But with short hair, it works really well. It's got 
sort of flexible bristles so you'll see that they're not hard if I run it, my fingers over um, and it sort of massages your scalp. I was doing like hair growth tablets and I decided to stop taking them so this should hopefully still help um, by massaging the scalp and getting everything stimulated yeah it's meant to be really great and it's also meant to be good if you suffer from dandruff there's loads of things that um it's actually meant to be good for but i thought for the hair growth side of things not that i particularly need it but i just thought it would be nice i also think sometimes i just sort of like go through the motions when it comes to washing my hair and i don't actually do things that uh, are long lasting so with this it gets right in there makes everything super clean um, I do love it. I really do. Um, I use it every single time. I usually use this on like my first shampoo and then I do a second shampoo before I wash it out and do a small conditioner with short hair. I don't really put conditioner in my hair anymore. So I just put it in like this bit, which is hardly anything. Um, so yeah, like it. Skincare wise, there's one thing that I have really loved. So I got I think about five of these or about six of these from my fiance's stepsister um, and yeah love them so this one is the coconut oil and shea butter with tea rose and I really like it it's so easy to pop in your bag um, and they come in all different I think there's one that's lavender um, they're all different scents I think that's about five or six and I really really like them they do the job they sink into the skin really quickly, they dry really quickly. I hate it when moisturizers on your hands don't dry quickly. Um, so they dry super quick. And it's great for just like a day moisturizer. If you really want an intense moisturize, this probably isn't the one for you. But if you want to maintain throughout the day, this is perfect. And then finally, makeup wise, there's two things that I've been loving. One that you will be very used to seeing, and it's the NYX Matte Finish uh, Long Lasting Setting Spray and yeah love that it's almost gone and very very almost at the bottom and i just really like it for this time of year especially better than putting a setting powder on when your skin's already quite dry having said that there is one setting powder that i've been absolutely loving and it takes us so nicely onto the hourglass ambient lighting setting powder so i mean so this is uh dim light and it is such a beautiful setting powder. Every time I wear this, people comment on what I'm wearing and say that my skin looks really great. Honestly, it's the best. I bought this little travel size version because I wanted to try it out. I've never tried anything from Hourglass before and I'd heard such amazing things, but I wanted to give it a try um, just in case skin and stuff didn't work, but it's incredible. I love it can't wait to try everything else from the hourglass range and yeah not much i can say about that more recently i'm loving the fact that i can wear sunglasses again so these are the key australia um sunglasses i will link them below they're rose gold so of course and yeah i really love the fact that we can wear sunglasses again so that was a very quick one and then the last thing is my rook piercing which let me flip it out a little bit um is here and i really love it oh my god i love it so much um so i've had it done for probably about three weeks now the first two weeks were super painful um i also have over the ear headphones which did not help at all so i've switched back to my iphone headphones and it seems to have died down and I thought it was infected when I had my over the ear headphones, it hurt that much. So when I switched, it seems to have died down. It seems to have gotten much better. It's flared up a little tiny bit at the minute, um, just because I've gone back to my over the ears, but yeah, I love it. I can't wait to start putting other earrings in. I'm actually gonna change this earring pretty soon because um, the bar's really long, but yeah. I really, really love it. I had it done by Metal Morphis, which is in Topshop on Oxford Street. Um, really expensive, but so worth it. They're great. And every piercing that I've had, so I've had that done with them, and I think that's it. I've had my rook and this done with them. And this one healed really quickly, and touch wood, I've had no problems with. 
and then also my rook has healed really quickly um and again at the moment i've had no problems with it might in the future but at the moment i've had nothing wrong with it so yeah um they also were super lovely they gave me a little diamond yeah and i do it on my lunch break super quick super easy i think i was in and out within like 15 minutes um and it's well worth it if you're in the area and you just want to be a bit spontaneous it's well worth it but if you are actually planning to get a piercing i would probably plan to go somewhere a bit cheaper and do your research a bit but i know that they're good and they have one in i think camden or somewhere like that they have like an actual store somewhere else um so i knew they were good and i thought if they're in top shop they can't be that bad so yeah when i went to have my this one done um I hadn't really done much research <laughs> I just sort of went which is really bad never do that um but yeah and then that went so well that obviously I didn't even think twice about going back for my rook even though it was mega expensive but so worth it because it's healed beautifully anyway so that's that and of course my lovely short hair which I mentioned earlier um yeah my mother-in-law to be chopped my hair and I love it so so much easier to control um i hate doing things with my hair absolutely hate it and yeah i i don't mind it this is like just drying naturally i've actually washed it like a couple of hours ago and this just dried naturally my hair usually took like a whole day as as a longer hair it took like a whole day to dry naturally and this has been probably about three or four hours bear in mind i have been sat in the sun so that's another thing anyway that's that all right, that is my favourites over and done with. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.